What's up guys? It's Lord Saint and I know it has been a while. There's been a lot going on at home in my personal life. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, which is pretty much the only place uh, that I've made one or two posts in the past few months, you'll know that the wife and I, uh, Lady Saint, we're expecting a baby plant, I guess a plant baby, a plant baby poppy if you will. We're expecting a little boy and life has been nothing short of hectic in navigating this next chapter for us and figuring out, you know, me moving out of my office, which I will do a new office video. I moved into the garage, so that's been a project and it's pretty much done or almost done. And now I have to start working on the nursery, but I've neglected my plants for far too long now. So today we're going to start my reintroduction with the necessary repot of my Monstera Tycon. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you kind of know the history of this Tycon. Maybe it's three years now. Uh, I, I want to say it's three years now. I got this, this Tycon three years ago as a gift for my mother for her birthday. She had it in her house and it refused to grow. Uh, she had a dedicated grow light. She had everything it needed. She was doing everything right, but it just refused to grow. So she begged me, she begged me or I begged her, if you will, to let me put it in the shade house. And since it's been in the shade house, it's been spitting out leaves left and right. Now, the only issue that I've had as of recent is I haven't seen any new growth from it. And this is clearly because it's probably very root bound in this pot. Um, I had to cut off aerial roots to the length of 10 feet. This is one of the smaller ones. Uh, so I know this is just dying for a larger pot, which is, this is drastically larger, uh, but I figured it'd be here to be in here for a while. So we're just gonna repot this Tycon and this is gonna be my reintroduction to you guys. Happy New Year, I know it's been a while. I haven't made a video for some time now, but Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. I missed all the, the major holidays, Happy Thanksgiving, uh, whatever it is that you celebrate, Happy Holidays. And let's start 2024 off with a bang and repotting one of my favorites, Monstera Tycon. So let's get to it. All right. And you can see, I, w I did have audio issues last year uh, and I finally upgraded. This is gonna be the first uh, video that I do with my Hollyland um, wireless mic. So I'm eager to see what it sounds like when I edit this video. Okay, this is this is giant. Let's uh let's soften this up a bit. And it should come right out for us. Now I've been talking to the wife and this plant is just so beautiful that I I kind of want it inside as a statement plant. Now it is large. So I'm gonna to have to find a spot big enough for it, but she's agreed that she would like to see it inside. So I am going to attempt, whew, I am going to attempt to find a good spot for this after it gets repotted. Okay. All right. Oof. All right. Okay. What I'll do is I'll dig out a groove for the dowel here. Yeah, that's a good spot. Thank <laughs> you. 
okay and then we'll place that back in And I promise, I know some of you would like some good B-roll. This is very last minute. Like I said, I've been strapped on time and I kind of finished my honeydew list for the day. And I was like, you know what? Let me get to this while I can. So I set up the camera real quick just to show you guys and say hello. And kind of mark this as a promise that I'll get back to the content so I'm I am going to cut these off um, it's way too long there's plenty of healthy roots in here I don't need this uh, to help support the growth or anything so I am I actually I'll do it right now I am cutting these off I don't need these aerial roots there's enough aerial roots on the inside as you can see here on these tighter portions that have already made its way inside of the pot so i'll let those be but we don't need any extras i'll leave this one alone and in this position i will start to pot around this and i'm going to need a lot a lot of potting mix this is a, this is a huge pot And I'll show you just how chunky you've watched my videos. You can see um, there is no potting mix in here. Or there's no soil. This is all potting mix, right? So my mix is pretty much a perlite, bark, uh, cocoa peat, uh, cocoa core. And I use some worm castings and I believe that's it. I you can check one of my previous videos for everything that's in here. It's size three perlite, by the way. Uh, size three perlite is what I'm using. And it's just a, a chunky mix. And it does great because I grow a majority of my, do uh, my plants, charcoal. I grow a majority of my plants outdoors, so in our rainy season, which pretty much year round in South Florida, if you will, um, this just aids in faster drainage, so I don't experience things like root rot um, in a lot of my plants. And if you've been following me for a while, you s you'll know that I started with soil when I first built my shade house and I had to quickly find an alternative because I was losing so many plants to rot because of all the rain that we were getting down here. So I adopted this chunky mix and it's been pure bliss since. So this is what I use for everything inside and outside. Um, recently, and we'll talk about my anthurium, I've become somewhat of a novice fanatic recently. So my anthurium collection has grown and I'll show you guys that over time uh, nothing fancy but you know I have definitely more than I ever thought I would have um, and now I am making my own crosses and and having fun with them but pretty much everything goes in this every everything else in my collection goes in this chunky mix and then my Ethereum gets something different but we'll leave that for another video so let's just finish up real quick
Okay. Okay. So I think we have enough potting mix in here. And like I said, I kept it chunky. Now all we have to do is tie this up to its new support, which is this dowel, and we're good to go. Uh, give the leaves a nice wipe down and water this really well right now, and that's it. That's all we have. Oh, this is huge. This is gonna be heavy. Um, but hopefully I will be not hopefully, but hopefully I can move it into the house. I can find a good spot for it, but I will be photographing this and I will follow up uh, with a video just marking like all these plants, all of my plants right now just need a lot of TLC. And because I've been so busy, I've ignored them, but they've been thriving on their own. They're almost doing better than when I was paying all my attention to them. Uh, but here we are. Like I said, I will have a GoPro next time and all these other cool gadgets so you can guys can see an in-depth uh, view or other views of me repotting and discussing a lot of the things that I plan to bring in to, the, to my channel this year. Uh, this was just an impromptu quick, oh shoot, let me record this, uh, quick repotting that I have to get done. Uh, I still have to do a billy that's back there and that's outgrown its it's pot, I have to do the same, not as large of a pot, but still a large pot um, because that's just tipped over and done all kinds of crazy things because it's growing like crazy. So I have tons of plants that I have to either chop and prop or repot and the shade house is just a mess right now, but I'm excited to find some time to get back to the plants. Trust me, right now I need it. <laughs> I am ecstatic that my little one is cooking uh, and I do have a lot of work to prep for him to come in, but I am gonna find time to get back to this as it was my therapy to begin with. Um, so like I said, it's Lord Saint. Thank you for joining me. It is a pleasure to interact with you guys again. Drop a comment down below. Uh, if you've been following, it's great to see you again. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, or if this is the first video you're, you're you're seeing, you're viewing, scroll back, you know, check the channel out, go to my uh, my past videos, and it'll give you some insight as to what I've created here in South Florida in my backyard. Like I said, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.